owners of makeshift structures, kiosks and vehicles at Morocco and Lekki coastal roads in Lagos have lost all they had, not to flooding, but to bulldozers of the Lagos state government. The State Environmental and Special Offenses Unit, better known as Task Force, demolished the, stru the structures three days after giving the occupants a quit notice. Plus TV Africa's Jacinta Obuku was there. Take a look. The expiration date of the removal notice as issued by Lagos State Tax Force is here. And this is the view of Lekki Coastal Road as the agency is not hesitating in bringing down the illegal constructions here. The owners of these shanties, kiosk and containerized shops do not only trade here but also live here. Sadly for them, they are being chased, beaten, and dismissed. Some are forced to leave before having the time to move their belongings. A few minutes to the start of the demolition, the chairman of the Lagos State Tax Force on Environmental and Special Offenses Unit Chief Superintendent of Police Shola Jejeluye arrives and explains that the bulldozing isn't sudden. I don't think there is need for notice before we start our enforcement here because 2019 this place was cleared and they were told to vacate the place. They were told never to return here. But immediately the government cleared this place for them. They came back and it's like you created more space for them to cohabit, you create more space for them to mobilize people. They now mobilize people from various parts of the country and they settle down here illegally. This place is, where we are standing is a main road and they call it Coastal Road. And it's supposed to serve as alternate uh, route to Ibeguleki. He notes that the destruction of shanties is a way of ridding the Mawa coastal area of criminal hideouts and reducing traffic robbery on the Leki Aja corridor. This place is filled up with miscreants. Also, of illegal uh, activities are taking place here. You see, you see brothels here, a lot of prostitutes, a lot of you know guys that deals in drugs. We arrested them the day we came to serve them notice with drugs. And this is just an eyesore and it's not good enough for Lagos. Former occupants of the structures what? As the places they have called home and business venues are brought down. The government of the Lagos says it is doing so to bring sanity to Nigerian's commercial capital. It is now ordering occupiers of all illegal structures on government property to vacate. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV, Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.